Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Pierce. I'm the Graduate Program Coordinator, um, Ed Graduate Program Director for the School of Kinesiology and Recreation, and I'm also the Sequence Coordinator uh, for the Psychology of Sport and Physical Activity Sequence. Today in this quick video, I'm going to talk you through um, the Psychology of Sport and Physical Activity Graduate Sequence, highlight some of the key features, uh, the program requirements and the admission requirements, um, and set you up to have any follow-up discussions or, or questions that you may have. So our program is set up uh, with a lot of flexibility. We really have a, a a students with a range of different backgrounds and interests. Uh, some students come in wanting to pursue the applied sports psychology route um, and, and pursue a certified mental performance consultant through the Association for Applied Sports Psychology. We cater to those students, also those interested in, <clears throat> in exercise and programming from the psychological aspect um, related to exercise. We also have a number of coaches who come in at the youth and college level and, and help them in their coach development and their professional development um, along the way. And then we also have researchers, so students interested in research um, and, and maybe pursuing PhDs in, in kinesiology-based sports, sport and exercise psychology or clinical psychology as well. So we have both an applied and research focus and we create flexible um, pathways for students. We really cater um, to the individual needs of the student. Our courses um, and sequence of courses are really built upon the philosophy of um, theory and science and putting it into action and that, that, that really that science to practice uh, philosophy. So students go through a series of courses, a range of courses in sport and exercise psychology, um, and then they're taught to make informed decisions, uh, be, be able to create uh, evidence-based programming, evidence-based strategies to help coaches, athletes, exercises, uh, anyone in the sport and exercise setting. And again, really built on that science to practice philosophy. Each student um, in the second year of their program will have the opportunity um, to have a culminating experience. This might be a research focused culminating experience, a thesis project where they lead their own research um, and that sets students up if they want to pursue the PhD or further education uh, and, and the research focus. Other students might do more of a practical experience. So we have professional practice experiences, uh, for example, through ISU Athletics and support uh, of the sports psychology work down here on campus, but other opportunities working with, with other teams, creating mental skills programs, creating different programs for teams um, and, and really, again, tailored those programs to, um, to the individual needs and their professional goals. We also have coaches who want to go on and coach <clears throat> maybe at higher levels in college, maybe at the youth high school level. Um, we work with coaches to create independent studies and professional practice experiences um, that really put our course knowledge into action, maybe building coaching philosophies, coaching portfolios, um, and applying the sport and exercise psychology um, frameworks or theories to um, those contexts. So again, a range of different culminating experiences that students can have. With that, um, our program can be set up um, for those pursuing um, certified mental performance consultant through the Association for Applied Sports Psychology. Uh, I myself am CMPC, um, so I have the uh, capability and I do mentor our students through their kind of their one-on-one -on -one, um, or team work. Um, so I provide that mentored experience and we have coursework that really meets a lot of the CMPC guidelines so we can build a um, a curriculum builder program for students to check a lot of those boxes towards CMPC, um, both within our School of Kinesiology and Recreation and, and some psychology courses. So again, we, we really have a flexible um, course, a fix, flexible program and tailor it to the needs of the students. Um, those students who are going out and applied sporting and psychology world, but also research focused. A curriculum <clears throat> built around some core requirements and then some flexibility through cognate areas and then the culminating experience. Um, the majority of our courses within our curriculum are taught by um, our sport and exercise psychology faculty at the graduate level. So myself, uh, Dr. Tony Amrose and Dr. Pete Smith, um, students experience um, classes with them and then a range of other faculty across the School of Kinesiology and Recreation, depending on the courses that are taken. So we have two major science requirements, so introduction to research methods and then statistics is, is the research requirement. Then students are required to take three core courses, applied motor learning, advanced sports psychology, motivation and sport and exercise, um, looking at it from an applied uh, mental skills and, and sports psychology perspective. Then students have the opportunity to take um, an area of um, interest uh, courses, different uh, opportunities ar around the School of Kinesiology. In recreation or across the university. 
Tony Amarose and myself, we, we teach some other courses um, and that are exciting cognate opportunities such as exercise psychology or um, youth sport and youth psychosocial development through youth sports. So we have a number of courses in that area, but students also uh, seek a coursework or interests in sport management, exercise physiology, um, recreation admin, a number of opportunities are available there. Again, for our more um, applied or CMPC um, minded students, taking courses in psychology and across the university is certainly possible as well. And then culminating experience, as I mentioned, uh, depending on the interests of the students, depending on the goals of the students, setting up uh, the culminating experience through either professional practice, thesis or independent study. In terms of our application and admission requirements, uh, pretty standard across the university here, uh, but we have the specific requirements of the, the GPA um, at or above 3.0, GRE scores, we have those as preferred, but not required. So those aren't required uh, for us to review your application. Obviously it's, it's good information to have, but it, it's not absolutely mandatory. Students are also encouraged and required to submit current resume outlining work history and education, statement of career goals in particular, kind of your background and interest in how that fits um, our program and how that fits your career goals and how the program may be able to help you. And then the names, addresses of three references. And again, if you've got those letters, it'd be great to include those in your application. So that's just a quick overview of our program. Um, we've got a, got a great program. We've got a lot of opportunities that students can have. Um, our students go on and, and pursue different areas. We've got students who are currently and have completed PhDs in kinesiology, based sports psychology. We've got students who are pursuing or have completed um, high level degrees in clinical psychology or PsyDs, if more with the applied or um, psychology um, based goals. We also have students out there who are currently coaching at the high school and college level. We have students who are doing their own applied work, working um, in the military with their resilience um, training programs. So we have students out there doing a number of really exciting things and, and showing our program again really is that the research to practice and, and opportunities that build from that. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to hear from you. Um, send me an email, see my email address there. You can reach out, um, look up my details and, and call on the phone if, if needed. Um, but it'd be great to chat um, and further talk about your interest in, in sport and exercise psychology and how we could help you here at ISU. Thank you.